What's up, dude? I wonder what she's doing on Maui right now. My love, what is light if Stephanie be not seen? You still talking about that imaginary girlfriend of yours? Hey, you're pretty good, kid. You heading to the skate competition on Maui? Maui? But I never really competed before. Uh oh, trying doesn't hurt, man. Maybe we'll see you there. Dude, this is great. You can go kick butt at the competition, and I can find my love again. You're Sun Beach. We're on Oahu, and how are we supposed to get to Maui, huh? It's more shit. Look at all those machines. NOAA is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and it's a scientific agency within the U.S. government. NOAA uses a host of sophisticated electronic equipment to navigate the oceans. We also chart the U.S. coastline that all mariners use. NOAA uses satellite tracking technology called GPS that is similar to what's found in most phones and in cars, but we use it to tell us where we are on the ocean. We also use radar with electromagnetic waves that lets us measure distance, speed, and also the size of both stationary and moving objects anywhere on the ocean. NOAA gathers important information from our travels and makes it available to all sea captains. Maui? <laughs> That's San Diego right there. Maui is in the opposite direction. What? Oh, eh. Uh, don't you guys know how to navigate? Navigation is really important for mariners because we want to use that to tell us where we are, where we don't want to go. It keeps us from getting lost. I am a student of navigation. Uh, we've built a canoe, which is a replica of those canoes that our Polynesian ancestors had sailed on. And by sailing these canoes, we're uh, really getting back that relationship that our ancestors had with, with nature and with the earth. Before we go on a voyage, we'll plot out our course. It's like drawing an imaginary line over the ocean. And we are keeping track of where we are relative to that imaginary line throughout the course of, of our voyage. So dead reckoning is a system of knowing where you are when you're voyaging over the ocean. Our ships use dead reckoning by tracking our speed and distance with computers, and then we also use an old-fashioned paper chart with a pencil. Our Polynesian ancestors were incredible explorers, able to cross thousands of miles of open ocean on their voyaging canoes without using any instruments. And the way that we dead reckon on the voyaging canoe is we're keeping track of how fast we're going, our speed, over a period of time, and we can calculate our distance. You only know where you are based on knowing where you've come from. So we're keeping track of all of those things while using the natural clues around us to, to know what direction we're sailing in. California? But the competition! My love! Uh, well... No adoring fans! How can I find you now? <laughs> hey guys, why don't you just fly there? You are a bird after all. Oh yeah! <laughs> Maui, here we go! Woo! way 
that our Polynesian ancestors navigated, we're really relearning the incredible scientists that they were. We use the stars, or hoku, in navigating by memorizing 200 stars and their rising and setting points on the horizon. That gives us a definite directional clue that we can orient ourselves on the canoe based on that, that rising or setting point. You can also use a star like Hopupa or the North Star. Its height above the horizon gives us an, an estimate of what our latitude is in the Northern Hemisphere. And then there are other stars that go around Hokupa um, that are like hands of a clock. So it helps us to tell time over the course of the night. Well, this is my stop. Ahuiho! Pupu kahi holomua! Dude, seriously, you need to diet. Maybe you should lift more weight. Hey, the stars. I mean, no hope we were gone. Oh no! How are we gonna find an island now? We lost! Oh, we lost! Stop freaking out. There's some birds flying right over there. So? A navigator must recognize the different types of birds. There are some that can hang out on the ocean for days to months, and there are certain birds that live on land and fly out to the ocean at sunrise to get food, back to the land at sunset to sleep. There are two key birds that we use, the manuoku, which is a white fairy tern, and there's the noyo, which is a brown tern. And so as we're approaching islands, when we start to see these birds, we know we're within that distance of that island. Clouds are also important for a navigator to recognize. There are different ways that a navigator might use clouds. One is direction. Clouds will show you the path of the wind. We also have clouds that get built up because of high islands. We have to understand our earth and the clues in nature in order to find our way. Hey kid, you made it. Yeah, it sure did take a while, but we finally found it. I thought we were going to make it for a second, and like a... So, uh, frog! Huh? Frog? My love! He knows that's just a coconut, right? Oh, Stephanie, I'm sorry for ever letting you go. Guess not. <laughs>